Hello everybody, it's me, Bing, the Wingy Rabbit. No, not really, of course. Uh, hi, it's uh, about time for a little update. Not been one for a few weeks and just wanted to uh, let everyone know how I'm getting on. Um, I'm going mad, obviously. Um, this is a little project I did for my one-year-old daughter. I picked up her CBeebies magazine for her to kind of shred to bits. Um, and on the front was a Bing Bunny model. Uh, along with seven paints and a brush. So it's kind of like a Warhammer Conquest magazine. But I thought I'd paint this up for her. Um, she seemed to like it. She at least recognised it as Bing. Um, and it made her smile, which made me smile, which is good. So that's a little change of pace for me in the last uh, this last week. I've um, been very busy with work, so I haven't had a massive amount of time to paint. Uh, but I have put together a few things uh, for my Airborne this week. And before I forget, because I've already made this video once and completely forgot to, um, I'd like to say a big thank you to my new subscribers um, and a special thank you to Gav, uh, Gavin Booth, um, for the shout out he did on his channel. You know, huge thanks for that. It's brought me some new subscribers and, um, you know, I've had a little bit of back and forth with him in comments and things, and he's a great guy. If you don't follow his channel, you should. I'm pretty sure you all know him. Um, he's more into the kind of modeling side and a great painter, commission painter. Um, so yeah, go and check him out. I will stick the, I will stick the link in the comments and I am planning to go back to actually update all the kind of um, notes for all my past videos because they're a bit kind of inconsistent. So I'll do that. But uh, yeah, onto the airborne. I've painted up the two artillery pieces I had and the crew for those, but I'm just waiting for some bases to turn up and then I'll get those finished off. Um, they seem to have been in the post for forever. Oh, what's happened to this, this gun? It's gone a bit droopy. Um, this Jeep with a 50 cal on the back. Um, nice little kit. This was, I think this might actually now be out of production from Warlord, but I got this via Sally Forth. Um, this is the kind of airborne style uh, gunner on this Jeep, um, but it went together well. I would, didn't think it would because of the um, kind of th thinness of the uh, gun, but actually it, it pieced together quite nicely when, I came, when it came to it. Um, I have these two characters which came from the Artisan Designs kit which the medics came from. I had these two left over and kind of didn't really just want them to go to waste. So I painted them up. They're going to become the um, attendants to the um, lieutenant. But um, yeah, so that's put these guys, the guys who were the attendants, have now gone into the kind of pool of um, airborne infantry. Um, and I had this guy as well. This chap was going to be the third man on an M MMG team. Um, but I changed my mind on that in the end after trying to piece them all together. Just didn't just didn't fit um, how I wanted it to. But as I was building him and putting them together, I realised he looked like he was actually injured more than he was, looked like he was barking orders because of the way I'd positioned his hand. So I turned him into a bit of an objective marker. Um, because I know a lot of the 101st, especially if you take Band of Brothers series, uh, they s seem to all get shot in the backside quite a lot. It seems to be a thing for them that happened a lot. So I decided that's what's happened to this guy too. And he can be a kind of downed guy that you have to go and rescue as an objective. Um, this, how I've modelled this guy, was taken from a tip from Steve from On Point HQ. He's actually taken, I've taken the running body filed down the back and kind of lent him against a log to look like he's uh, laid down, not really at rest, but a leaning against this log. So put those together this week. Um, I said got the artillery as well, but I'll show that next time. And I've now got another airborne box and a flamethrower team. That's all I've got left and that's, that's I've decided, will make up the rest of the footprint of my airborne force. So that's everything. So hopefully next time, maybe next week, um, I'll have a video of the whole army finished. So I hope you're all well. 
Um, I think that's everything. And I hope to see you next time.